We got the inducer's working, but blowing cold air. And the inducer is working and also blowing cold air. Huh. I wonder why. Looks like something bad happened a long time ago in here, but I think it's solved now. Three flashes and these pressures slash centrifugal switch blows with inducer off. Flip power down, power back up, and you can see go for a coffee. Okay, so looks like it's gonna be something with our inducer motor. This is the, so on these Fasco motors, if you look up here, the, these two are line voltage. And then these two reds, this is the pressure switch. This is what monitors to see if the inducer motor is working or not. That board doesn't look good either. I might wanna swap that out. This is our other board. We've got uh, the regular heartbeat on the Board, but maybe we'll try and shut this off, reset it, see what it does. If not, probably gonna have to change the control. Why is this so melted? Both of them are like that. That's so weird. I want to get a big material list going before I leave because I would hate to go, come back, and then have to leave again. And you know, I don't want to make this an all day kind of thing. I'd rather just do it all in a good shot. We're gonna power up again. Voltage reading. This is the pilot valve. Don't have any power going to pilot valve. All right. So just a quick update. We're gonna have to change the inducer motor on this unit. I think I'm gonna swap out the control board too if it's available. That one definitely needs a new control board. So if two are available as of right now, I'm gonna pick up two. If only one is available, that one's gonna get it. But we're not done yet because we've got two all the way up on the roof that we gotta look at too. So we're gonna continue on. Okay, we're up here on the first one. No call for heat. This is gonna be number two, and the inducer is not running. And we're at number three. I hear something going on in here, so we're gonna start here. Well, that'll do it. Whew. Something happened here. Power down for now. Wow. Oh my God. Here is a little fun fact about anytime you're working on a rooftop, you take your door and gently put it down, but laying flat because all it takes is one gust of wind and that thing is going flying off the roof. It could hit a car, worse, it could hit someone's. All right, this is the middle unit and first inspection, oh, same resistors burnt out. This one, hard to see but one two two flashes pressure slash centrifugal switch open with inducer on oh my god all right looks like we're gonna have to replace this one too shape it up to be a wonderful day i hope they're gonna have enough of these in stock but probably gonna buy out the supply shop we got one more to go Anytime you're installing a disconnect box, please don't install it over the the nameplate on the unit. The info off here. Finally, our last baby went down. Turn the thermostat on, and it's heating. So at least we got one. I opened up the uh, fifth and final unit just to take a peek inside. Something big is going on in all these units. I, I don't think it's just a fluke that five units have these burn marks. I think something. Uh, electricals going on probably coming into the building or somewhere but as of right now we're just gonna fix everything figure that out when we're done all right well it took about an hour and a half to running around to all the supply shops but got our inducer motors got our control boards our transformer blower wheel everything so we're gonna start down at the first floor start putting everything back together so the first thing I'm gonna do because this board looks like it's in really rough shape is I'm gonna change the board. Maybe that's the cause of the inducer saying it's open when it should be closed, but you know, we gotta find out. It's gotta be swapped out anyway. So I think I'd rather start with that and then work my way up to the motor. Disconnect the 
spark and both plugs on the bottom. Yeah, okay. So now that I was able to pull this out, I mean, you could always label it, or take pictures or stuff to help you remember, but I pulled this out of the way, pulled the old board out. I'm looking at this switchy relay and it is definitely bad. So good idea to swap this out first. I'm gonna mount the new board, plug everything back in, pull the plugs off of here, just go straight onto the board and we'll fire it up and see what we got. I'm gonna take off our yellow wire because that's our L1, put it on L1. Do some plug, our flame sensor. Take our igniter. Plug our igniter in. And good to go, let's fire it up. Got a heartbeat signal, so, so far so good. Hasn't tripped any alarms yet. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's lit. And that's a lovely sound. So, looks like that's one less inducer motor we're gonna have to swap out. Doesn't always happen like that, but today it did. For now, Don't, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We still got three more to go. So I'm gonna put this baby back together and on to the next. All right, but now the question is, that one's running. What if we swap out the control board on this one and see if that's the only problem? All right, maybe we're going to the control board. Let's see what we got. We've got a little bit of a problem. We've got a little bit of a flame in there. So we know our gas valve is now receiving power, but I still hear the spark. Might be hard to hear with the uh, screeching of the reducer motor. Uh, but our flame sensor is not detecting the, the signal. Well, it's not detecting that there's actually a flame there. Uh, so, we're gonna swap out the flame sensor too. No big deal. Okay, hello again. We're back on the roof. We're gonna take care of this unit first. All right, new board is on. Truth. Let's see what we got. Heartbeat signal is okay. It's the line voltage thermostat. We got our signal, it's one, two. Ah, yeah, that's right. This is the one with the normally opens. Let's take a quick voltage reading across this fuse. Okay, I didn't mention this while I was on the roof, but just take a look how out of range this line voltage is. Something funky's going on. the motor all right so the way we're going to do that is we're going to take off one two three four five six six of the tapping screws and just take this whole assembly out all right now that we got our inducer motor out i'm going to take off this blower wheel there's just two allen keys and then we're going to take off these four lock nuts pull the whole thing out put the new one on i think i mean this is still in good shape i don't know why they gave me the blower wheels too but when i go back for that flame sensor i'm going to return it Just like that. Okay, final result. Everything's all mounted. Now, moment of truth. Uh, I got a bunch of dust in my face, but it's working. Oh, yeah. I was lit. So we got the new transformer on, the new control board on. I have the fuse disconnected for right now because I wasn't able to pick one up. So I'm gonna have to come back another time. They didn't have any in stock. So I'm just gonna turn it on, make sure this runs now, and then, you know, leave it off and come back when we get the new part in. All right, power is on and nothing popped so far. So that's progress. Now I'm getting a flashing code on this one. Two flashes, okay. Gotta swap out the inducer motor too. Be back in a sec. Okay, new inducer is now on. 
power is now on. Just smack in my face again. Oh, please work. It's freezing up here. Yeah. Come on. Last but not least, got our flame sensor. I'm gonna pop that on really fast and we'll see how we made out. Okay, new flame sensor's on. I flip the power. Well, that's not good. Uh oh. Well, you can't win them all. It's still doing it, so either the pilot tube is clogged up or we got another problem but it's getting late the supply shops are closed now so i'm just gonna have to come back tomorrow as usual i can't tell you enough how much i appreciate the view and all the comments i get and all the support so thank you very much i'll catch you in the next